Hello, how's it going? So which retro nostalgic piece of junk are we gonna try and make music on today? Well, 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 well. If you've seen the title of this video, then you've probably guessed it already. Yeah, you're right. It's a sound meter. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a, it's a PlayStation 1. Today, we are gonna go back to my childhood uh, with the PlayStation 1. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. So this is a PlayStation 1 I picked up a few weeks ago with the sole purpose of doing this video. I've been wanting to do it for quite a while now and yeah, now seems the right time. I hold the PlayStation quite close to my nostalgic heart because it was the uh, kind of games console that I had when I was a kid. And many hours were wasted playing Demo 1, Ridge Racer, and Crash Bandicoot, of course. Uh, yeah, so I thought it would be great to get another one because there is a game that I never really got into as a child, but I've heard some good things. That is music for the PlayStation 1. Yeah, yeah. So it's a piece of software that lets you make music on your PlayStation. I know, it's crazy. One of my friends had this and I played it for about five minutes and it just didn't make any sense to me so I immediately just fobbed it off as being rubbish. But now I've kind of grown up, I've kind of realized that maybe there's more potential to this than just uh, being a weird screen that made zero sense. And to be honest, I haven't tried it yet since I played it about 20 years ago for five minutes. And it is officially endorsed by Judge Jules. So let's give it a chance, shall we? So here's music. I swear it was called something different, but whatever. This is the original one. And I don't know when it came out. Let's find out. It came out in... It came out then. So yeah, it's basically music tracking software for your PlayStation. I don't know, it's sort of on the offset, looks like a little bit like Fruity Loops, but maybe I'm wrong. And like I said, it is officially endorsed by Judge Jules, so it's gotta be good. So we'll open it up. It's got a pretty hefty instruction book with a lot of different bits in it. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick run through this before I actually turn it on because it'll be embarrassing if I really, really don't have a clue. Look, look, it's crazy. It's even got ADSRs. It's got loads of plugins, but you can also adjust lots of different kind of aspects to the sound. So maybe, maybe I'll be able to make a song on it after all. I don't know. Oh, sick. Toka Touring Car is number two. Prince Nassim, what's happened? I wonder if he's still boxing, that's mad. Oh, no fear, downhill mountain biking. I was well excited by that, and then I don't think it ever came out. Make shockingly good music. Oh my God. And yeah, I've got the Mark One PlayStation One, and I'm gonna hook this up to a TV, and let's give this game a go, shall we? Hello, hopefully you can see me and the reflection of the CRT and above it is the PlayStation. I'm just gonna pop in. Oh no! So I had the memory card on top of it. Fake memory card. I'm gonna plop that into card slot number one just in case I need to save something, which I probably will. I've got the standard original PlayStation 1 controller. Nothing fancy. Boom. Right, so let's turn this beast on and get a hit of the Sony PlayStation startup. Here we go. Time to go back. Oh, holy moly. Oh, I haven't heard that in so long. Oh man. That's six o'clock in the morning before school, trying to buy an upgrade suspension kit for your Corvette in Gran Turismo. Here we go. Code Masters, pure gameplay. And then, what's this one? I just love how cheesy all of these introduction kind of things are. Gesture Interactive, Judge Jules. Ah, oh, no, not Judge Jules. Uh, I'm just gonna start. Okay, so in front of us we have the first page. I know apparently you're able to also, there's a second page which is red. Um, there's a second page which is red. Oh no, I've just ruined it. I think it's that. You can actually be, uh, this is for video. Uh, so you can be a video DJ and this. So you've got loads of tracks. This is the multi-track. See, it looks, sort of looks like Fruity Loops in a fun kind of way. I haven't seen Fruity Loops for 10 years either, so I don't know. So, um, right, I'm gonna try and add a riff. Um, okay, so I've just put... Sick! R1, I think, is edit. Yes! Oh my God, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Do 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 do. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the actual um, decay on these ones. Oh, uh, yeah. I was able to slide, did you hear that? There was a slide. This is coming along. Oh, that's kind of cool. This one's a bit dodgy. Yes. Oh yeah, I don't know, I don't really understand this quite yet, but I hope you're seeing that it's, this is how you make the song. Oh my god, it's got rapping in it. <laughs> oh yeah. Drop the bass. Oh yeah. Put your feet on the floor. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Here we go. Here we go. This is how you edit it. And then I'm just gonna get kicks. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly uh, add a rap. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh come on, play. Are you ready? Are you ready for the tune of the day? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Nah, that's not quite right. <laughs> Is that the highest note? I wanted to do a different melody, but I can't seem to go any higher than this note. Okay, let's see. I have no idea if I'm in the right key. So yeah, let's have a listen at what a uh, six or seven year old Sam could have made if he uh, really stuck at it for another 25 minutes. God, that is a fine, fine jam. <laughs> so after messing around with it for about half an hour, you can see that there is actually potential to make something reasonably okay with it. Because it's all wave samples, you can even offset the wave samples in all of the different notes. Uh, it's gonna be quite interesting. So I'm gonna sit here for two hours and have a go at making a song. And yeah, we'll see where we're at. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right, so I've been sitting here for about for about an hour now, and uh, I've tried a few different things out. Needless to say, you cannot get away from the uh, kind of uh, PlayStation sound, but that's a good thing because we're making it on a PlayStation. You want it to sound like a PlayStation. It basically sounds like you're playing Ridge Racer. It's it's pretty mad. But yeah, have a listen to my uh, to the fruits of my labour. I've even got a little uh, fish and card doing a little dance at the bottom. I have no idea. As you can see, I've got a fair few different bits. There's a couple of different bits of drums, got a few different parts. There's some vocal samples. And the, and the funny thing is all of the vocal samples, because it's from the mid nineties, most of them just say in the house and uh, get higher. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's have a listen.
long life. So yeah, that's music for PlayStation 1. It's a bit of a weird program. I really wish I gave it more time when I was a kid because I probably would have spent a long time making a very, very cheesy album. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I wasn't a musician at the time, so it'd have probably been pretty dodgy. But yeah, you could pick this up for like two or three quid. I think I bought this at a local shop for literally two pounds. So if you want to have a go on it, I definitely recommend having a go. It's proper nostalgic. It's got that kind of, you know, those fifth sounds like ding, 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 ding. It's actually a lot more complex than you think. Every single note, you can adjust the effects of the, that note separately. So like you can add one with distortion, one with like woo, and like you could do whatever you want really. I mean, except for make it sound good. No, I'm joking, it sounds pretty good. So yeah, um, the next video is gonna be the Game Boy Mega Machine. I've been doing a lot of vlogs and updates over on my Patreon about that as well. There's a lot of weird and complex things that are happening right now on that machine. So if you're interested in that, please go and check that out because needless to say, that supports all of the projects that happen like this. But yeah, but yeah, that was just a short one about music on the PlayStation 1. I've been Luke Mum No Computer, but I'll see you next time. All the people in the house!